I'm just machining some back plates at the moment. This is the final item, and this is the piece that I'm actually machining at the moment. Um, these are some doorknobs that I make. Um, these I designed. I carve a wooden pattern initially and take a mould from it and cast them through a lost wax process. And I'll do another video on that from start to finish on uh, showing the actual casting and um, so on. Um, the back plates have already been machined on the back face. Um, this is still quite a raw casting really, there's still a lot of cleaning up to do here. This one's been machined here. Um, so I'm just screwing this down with some machine uh, screws onto this plate and then I can put in a four jaw chuck, centre it, face it and bore it out um, for the, uh, the shaft on the door knob. OK, we'll move over to the lathe now and uh, I'll restart the video once we're there, OK? OK, we've got the back plate mounted on this face plate which I'm going to put in the four jaw chuck. Um, this is actually quite an old lathe, this. This is a South Bend lathe, it's 1942. It actually came over during the war um, in a, an American repair vehicle, like a mobile unit. And, um, Probably did some interesting work in this time. Okay, use the um, revolving centre just to centralise that back place, and then I'll just tighten up the plate that's mm -hmm. mounted to it in there. Okay. Using the collar on uh, the cross slide there just to uh, set the depth of the cuff. Just need to uh, chamfer on the inside edge to remove that rag and I'll just pull that through and that's one done. I'll just hold it nearest to the camera now you can have a closer look. Okay. So that's one board out. Okay.